Happy birthday, Kristen. You can talk. You can talk into the microphone. Hey, don't sing to me. Oh. Are you all gonna? You're gonna sing. We're gonna sing Happy Birthday. It's Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Kristen. Happy Birthday to you. This is going on national TV. Oh, wow. Show and look. Yeah. Team getting ready to get our bags and then get ready to head off to our selection show. Just got back from being in Long Beach. Hey, we get to watch the selection show uh, for the uh, first time with our whole entire group and uh, hopefully see our names up on the board. We're very excited as a program um, and um, I'm real proud of our ladies. They played great this weekend. Great weekend. Let's wait, Sarah. Stuff. Everybody's taking their stuff, getting ready to go to the selection show. Go Frogs. Hey. You guys excited? Yeah. We just ain't. No, we're not excited. Nice expression. Pizza and Coke all in one minute. Oh, wow. Exciting. Exciting, exciting. Hey, Jason. Woo! Hey, Jason. Are you excited? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let's see the TCU. Yeah, the, yeah, get that in there. On there, on the, on the pizza here. Everybody is over here getting really excited. Channel's going to be changing here soon. Welcome back to ESPN News. I'm Michael Kim. Time now to reveal the field of 64 teams which will participate in the 2009 NCAA Division I Women's Volleyball Championship. This year's event opens with first round games on Thursday, December 3rd, and concludes with the championship match on Saturday, December 19th in Tampa Bay. ESPN2 and ESPN360.com will provide live coverage of the semifinal and we begin then the selection show with a look at the top four seeds. And not surprisingly, number one is defending champion Penn State, owners of an NCAA record 96 match win streak. Texas is number two. Florida State draws the third seed with Stanford in at number four. Penn State and Stanford, by the way, the only two teams to be invited to every year of this tournament, all 29. All right, let's take a look at the top portion of the Stanford bracket, and we begin with fifth seed Illinois playing the Mastodons of IPFW, making their NCAA tournament debut. The winner faces the winner between Horizon League champ Milwaukee and A-10 tournament champ Dayton. Retail champion USC takes on Big 12 at large team. Oakland. I wonder where they're hosting and that at. 12 Hawaii. They're probably Florida hosting that at Hawaii. Champion. No way. Yeah. New Mexico making its first appearance since 1996 versus Northern Iowa, the Missouri Valley champs. And the champ clears of Coastal Carolina open against number 10 seed Nebraska. Three time champs. Three-time runner-up in News. I'm Michael Kim, along with ESPN Volleyball Analyst Karch Karai, here to reveal the other 32 teams in the 2009 NCAA Division I Women's Volleyball Championship. Hey. The TCU women may get a chance to play Texas. The Horn Frogs make their debut against Conference USA tournament champ Rice.
fortunate to be in this position. Our athletes have done this for us, and so we are very excited. Um, we also have been saying, actually, for the last couple of weeks, is I, I personally wanted to play Rice, because last year we finished our, our season not playing well and losing to Rice. So um, the matchups for me, I'm pretty darn excited about that. I think we go, we go to Rice, where, where, whether it's at Rice or at Texas, I think we win that match. So um, I, I'm, I'm very excited about those matchups. But again, for everybody who spent their time to come here, I know it's a short time, but we appreciate it so much. It means the most to me. And my administrators that are here, um, even more so. I, I mean, just seeing, I mean, I started crying when I first got here. It was a little overwhelming uh, because it just means so much to us. I mean, our first time ever, you know, been here eight years, program 13 years old, and just, you know, just finally getting this, this opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament and do what we had planned to do since we got here at the beginning. And, um, Athletes, it's, it's because of you guys, because you decided this is what you wanted and you were going to make the commitment to it. And hands off to you guys.